Greetings, Great Witch here. So today I want to show you how to complete the Strange Statues treasure hunt. Now the first location you need to come to is Window Rock, which is directly south of Granite Pass. So set a location to come here and we'll get started. So once you head out to this way, if you're heading west, once you cross the river, the rock formation will be right here on the right. So once I get across this river, I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about right there. And the cool thing is, is you can ride your horse all the way up to where you need to go. So just ride back here, head in this direction. Let's see, right up there is where we gotta go. So just keep making your way back around here. It looks like you have to get off and walk, but you can actually make it all the way up there. Well, I did anyway. So, just come right up through here. And you got it pretty much easy. Now the cool thing about this is this is the same horse that I have from my Taming the Horse video. So this Morgan horse has actually been one of the greatest horses that I've had the whole game. It's been pretty awesome. The only thing I really did to it was just change the color of the hair and the that was it. So get you a Morgan. It's a great horse. But anyway, here we are at the location. So right there where all of the drawings are is where you want to go. So get up close so Arthur can add this to his journal. And this right here is actually the answer for where we're going to the next part. So just add this into your journal. I don't remember drawing a dog. Hmm. That's pretty cool. I wonder when I drew a doggy. But anyway, this is the first location. Come here, get the image added to your journal, and then you can go to the next location. Now the next location is right here. Now this is directly east of the Donner Falls. It's right off the road. That's, I mean directly off of the path. You'll see this little cutaway in the rocks. You want to head in here. You'll know you're in the right place because of this pine tree. Right in the middle of the rocks. And then just head into this little cave. And then just make your way into the back. You don't really need a lantern in here, it's kind of bright, but if you can bring one in here, it will help you out. Trust me, because what you have to do once you get in here, you kind of need the lantern. So try to bring it in here with you when you go in here. There's, it's kind of lit, but still, you really do need it. Because I struggled with doing this next part. So what you got here is seven statues. Now each of the statues, their hands are showing a certain amount of fingers. So the goal is to find the certain statues then press the buttons on the base of them and then it'll open up a secret thing and you'll get some gold so once you're here add this to your journal too just like you did with the pictures and then go right into doing the things and it's not too hard now the hardest part about this is knowing which ones you have to push and if you make a mistake you can go to the back of the thing the statues base and press to start over again now the buttons that you need to push on the statues are the ones that are showing the fingers number two, three, five, and seven fingers. Those are the ones that you need to push the buttons on. That's the only ones. Now the one that has the seven fingers is the statue that's missing its arm. So that'll be your last one that you need to push. And just hit that and then once you do the little thing will open up and you can get three gold bars. Which is some pretty good treasure. It's right there. All you have to do is put those in your little satchel. That's fifteen hundred bucks right there. All right. Well, this is a great witch. Just remember to spend that treasure wisely, and I will see you next time. Peace.